Shalom to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. Brothers and sisters, if you are watching and listening to this message, you are considered blessed. You are indeed blessed to listen to these words. There are people that have desired to see this video. There are people that actually needed this word, but they are not able to see it. They are not able to listen to these very words. But as for you, God has directed you to this channel, to this message. It has been recommended you, to you for a very big reason. So it is not a coincidence that you are listening to me, especially if you are new to this channel. You are watching me for the very first time. Brothers and sisters, God has brought you to this platform. There are words that I'm about to speak that are going to bless you. Words about your life that some of you did not know. Of course, some of you know about this fact, but some of you, you did not know. You are asking, why am I attacked? Why is it that every time I'm about to do something, there comes bad news? Some of you are on a blink of actually uh, breakthrough. You are about to receive good news, but you need to be careful so that that good news comes to pass, so that that breakthrough comes to pass. Some of you, it has been delays after delays. I have a word for you. Brothers and sisters, I want to welcome everyone that is new to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. Turn on all the notifications. My name is Grace and I release the word of God on a daily basis. I also have live streams where I speak to you, I pray for you, and I read out your testimonies. Of course, God has always been good to you, and I believe if God has been good to you, it is time to testify. The Bible says it clear in the book of Revelations that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives up to death. Brothers and sisters, it is important that you testify. Your life is a testimony. The fact that you are alive, it is a testimony. The fact actually that you are listening to this message could actually be a testimony. Hmm? It is, could be a testimony. So brothers and sisters, you can also be a blessing to this ministry through your giving. You can give through my PayPal. Remember that my PayPal is right in the about section of this channel. Click on that, sec on, on that uh, link and it will direct you to my PayPal. You can give any amount from $1, $5, $50, $1,000, whatever amount that God has placed in your heart. It is more blessed to give than to receive. My brothers and sisters, today's powerful word for you today is your enemies are coming and they are coming in big numbers. The reason as to why they are coming is what is because of what they heard about you. There is information that has got to your enemies, that was leaked to your enemies about you. I'm not saying all the information has been given to your enemies, but some information that has caused them to attack you. You are not being attacked just because you are nobody. No, you are somebody. The fact that people are fighting against you shows actually that you are powerful in the Lord, that you are anointed. In fact, they are coming because of the anointing in you. It is because of the anointing. You belong to Christ. I want to read to you a very powerful scripture that is, of course, going to bless you. This scripture is from the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse 17 to 18. 2 Samuel, chapter 5, verse, eight, verse 17 to 18. The Bible says it clear. Now, when the Philistines had that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David, and David heard of it, and went down to the stronghold. The Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Raphaim. The Bible says it clear, when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. Not some of the Philistines in this case. Ask yourself, why is it that it seems like everyone is against you? 
Doesn't it show that there's something amazing in you? Doesn't it show that there's something God has given you? Bible says that he has given you power and authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. There is so much power in you, authority, that some of you don't know about. That's why I say the Bible says you shall say to this mountain, Be thou moved and cast into the sea, and it shall be so. What kind of person has the ability to speak to a mountain to move unless it has been given by God? God has told you, you shall say, you who are watching me, the power is in you. So the Bible says it clear. When the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over Israel, they came out. All the Philistines came out to search for him. Some of you have institutions that are coming out for you. You have things that are trying to put you down. But I want you, brothers and sisters, to remain in God. The Bible says that David heard of it. What do you do after hearing about your enemies? What do you do? What is next when you hear that your enemies are trying to come up against you? One thing you need to do is pray. When you hear somebody trying to mess you up, when you hear somebody trying to put witchcraft to you, you may not know the name of that person. You don't actually need to know the name of that person. What you need to know is that, wait a minute, there's somebody that is trying to do this to me. When that comes to your knowledge, go and pray. This is why the Bible says pray without ceasing. That you men ought to pray and not to faint. You see, Jesus finds his disciples sleeping. He wakes them up. He even says, couldn't you watch and pray with me for at least an hour? At least an hour. Some of you, this message has found you when you feel sleepy. Some of you, you woke up to this message. I'm telling you, watch and pray at all times. Don't allow the enemy to get into your house. Don't allow the enemy to get into your family. As for you and your family, you shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with everything that you have. Worship God. Because the true worshippers will worship God in spirit and truth. Brothers and sisters, I hope this message has blessed you. I hope this message has encouraged you. They are coming after you because of the anointing of God in you. Brothers and sisters, keep on praying. Until next time, Shalom.